In the past two and a half years, Hong Kong has faced several waves of COVID-19 outbreaks and a mass exodus of people. But behind the massive efforts to keep the pandemic under control and all the tearful farewells is a lesser talked about problem. The animals who have been left behind and the doodling support for the shelter and stray animals. Visit any animal shelter in Hong Kong and you're likely to find every single enclosure occupied. With hundreds of animals abandoned each year, welfare groups have long been stretching their resources to prevent as many as possible from being put to sleep. And after more than two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, along with a growing immigration trend, the task has only gotten harder. IBC is the founder of House of Joy and Mercy, an animal shelter in Yunlong. While the number of animals House of Joy and Mercy has taken in has increased, the amount of donations and volunteers it has to take care of the animals have dropped drastically due to the pandemic and immigration trend. 很多都是有能力的,他捐款,他們都會選擇移民的。我們其實逢星期六都有義工活動的,所以我們從一個學校啊,團體來到幫手的。咁而家這個疫情,講真的,我們也需要很多團體來幫手。According to C, the monthly expenditure of the shelter can go up to as high as 700,000 Hong Kong dollars a month, with the majority going to medical expenses. With donations down, the shelter is struggling to make ends meet. It even posted an emergency call for donations of dog food in February. About a year ago, C got inspired to set up a veterinary clinic to provide free services for stray animals who are ill, as well as those from her shelter. With the support of private donors, the clinic has been in soft opening since July. It has so far helped a dozen animals from House of Joy and Mercy and plans to open to the public in September. For Z and many other welfare groups, it's an uphill challenge to continue to care for the animals, but one she says she's not going to give up on. Coconuts TV 